In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get basic mathematical notation into a Google document using the native Google document formatting options. There are a couple of ways to do this in Google Docs. The first is to use the format menu, uh, but you can only do subscript and superscript, so you can get exponents and things like that. So if you wanted to define a function and type that in, You could type it in and then just type numbers where you would normally want the exponents and then afterwards highlight the numbers you want to be exponents, go to format and choose superscript. That will raise those numbers up and they will appear to be exponents. You can also designate different variables in a sequence by using uh, x1, x2, x3 if you don't know how many of these you're going to need. And the way to do that uh, would be to use subscript. So if I needed a series of x's, I do the same thing, only instead of selecting superscript, I select subscript. If you need more advanced mathematical notation, Google Docs does have a native equation editor. So suppose I needed something a little bit more advanced. I can go to insert, select equation, and then I have five menus up here where I can get Greek symbols, uh, various miscellaneous symbols, multiplication, division, plus or minus, minus or plus, uh, some set notation, inequality symbols, more set notation, fractions, roots. Uh, you can get exponents and subscript this way, uh, some calculus notation, and some arrows. So let's say I were going to do something on the quadratic formula. I would have to set up a fraction first, choose my plus or minus symbol, I'd have to choose my square root, and then before I do b squared, I have to use the exponent template over here. The first number you're going to enter is the base, then hit tab, enter the exponent, use the right arrow to get out of that part of the template, minus 4ac, hit tab until you're on the bottom, and so I can get the quadratic formula in here using the native equation editor in Google Docs. I can also change the font by highlighting the formula and increasing it to make it bigger. Uh, the equation editor does tend to make things a little bit small. So you may want to increase the font there just to make it uh, easier to see. And that's how you can add mathematical notation to Google Docs using the native Google Docs formatting options.